Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 1, the HD playthrough. Um, we are in the Watcher's Chamber. I put it up on the load screen. I had no idea that this was called that. Um, but uh, there you go, the Watcher's Chamber. Um, <clears throat> so we are on Ilos, the priority mission. Um, I'm going to give you a heads up. This is probably not going to, this video is not going to have a lot of commentary just because uh, there's going to be a ton of cinematics. Um, this part pretty much explains everything that goes on as far as uh, Mass Effect goes. Um, it explains the entire story. So kind of like uh, if you ever got frustrated at, hey, why don't they, you know, like Lost, oh my gosh, just finished Lost like a couple weeks ago. I know it's been out forever, um, <clears throat> but I just finally got to finish it. I got frustrated because it didn't, exp like, gosh, it just, you had to watch another episode, another episode. This thing just literally goes through A to Z and explains everything that's going on, which is so nice. Um, doesn't ruin the game though. They do it in such a way that uh, you you keep you keep wanting to play to kind of realize the story. Um, but just to give you a heads up, there's probably not going to be a lot of commentary for me just because I'm going to do a full um, talk through with Vigil. Um, let you see the graphics as it kind of pans around Shepard, especially with her sexy new armor. Um, <clears throat> you'll be able to kind of check out the texture mods. I am working on the second uh, Mass Effect texture mod, so I've got two different computers trying to see which uh, program works best. Um, gotten a couple of people asking me about that, um, and uh, anyway, I'm gonna uh, we're gonna go talk to Vigil. This is probably one of the best parts of the game, so hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the mic. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you, unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Holy crap. Um, I just said there wasn't going to be a lot of commentary. That would be a really cool sequel. Um, right there, to go and find the Reapers on the edge of uh, the galaxy, trying to figure out, you know, their, um, who they are, where they are. Um, anyway, BioWare! Sequel! 
The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reaper seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I <laughs> saved 
escaped key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. 
So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Pretty freaking cool part, I must say. I think this is one of the better... Uh, this will show you the texture mod as it kind of pans around Shepard. Uh, let's see, we did that one. Yeah, okay. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. Um, <laughs> okay, we've already done all those. Liara, you're crazy. You crazy girl. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. I love that part. Absolutely love that part. The music is freaking awesome. I could listen to that for hours. Mmm. Days. And I'm actually glad that I picked these two guys. Because uh, they actually become your kind of your best friends. So it's kind of neat as they go through the trilogy there with you. So it looks like it was a uh, vigil that actually erected that force field. All right, so we need to make it to. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was my bad. I was holding a drink in the other hand. Don't judge me. Okay, uh, so we need to make it to the. Uh, car the uh, the effect the mass effect relay that the scientists built here and that will project us on to the uh, citadel where it'll be our last uh, last mission wow I I'm really gonna miss the makeup <laughs> that's all I can say I don't want to be a hater but <laughs> yeah I'm really gonna miss the Mako guys <laughs> Screw this thing! It seems like it's way worse than this level. You guys let me know if you replay it again. Wow, the music just got all freaking cool again.
little effort. Let's see, what are they giving us? Inferno. Oh, jeez. Yeah, of course, now they're giving us <coughs> all this really good stuff. Uh, so let's just make sure... Sledgehammer X, you know what, I think... Uh, yeah, that's okay. And what is Garrus using? He is using... Oh gosh, no. Yeah, that that makes your gunfire really, really slow, the um, snow blind rounds. Which for a sniper, I guess, isn't that bad, because you kind of fire slow anyway. But uh, not for an assault rifle, where you want to do a lot of damage per second, so... These corridors look pretty cool. Really, really cool. And you can't shoot people. <laughs> so we're... <laughs> there. Now we can shoot them. <laughs> and we have got so much money. And we are never going to spend it. But maybe it'll transfer over to Mass Effect 2. I think it actually does. You do get a bonus if you are a certain level um, starting Mass Effect 2 if you port a uh, character over, which we obviously are definitely going to be porting um, Pudetang in because, I mean, that name alone needs to be saved. More money. I think this is it. Yes, it is. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Holy crap, did you see those graphics? Those graphics were awesome. Uh, tell what, that is awesome right there. We're gonna just ignore these guys, because it doesn't matter. Yeah, they can't kill us anyway. Here we go. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. smoking hot in that uniform. That ass. Um, well, there's your... <laughs> we must have walked by that a couple of times. Uh, Medikit. Uh, you can't click on them. They won't tell you anything. 
We're gonna drop a quick save. No, we're not. <laughs> See that wave? That's what disables you. Um, it does a ton of damage. So, okay. Now we're gonna quick save. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. That's that big ass uh, warship that the uh, Sari have. Uh... What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. <laughs> Did you see that she was, like, doing the, uh... Doing the guitar swing, uh, the here watch. What about Captain Anderson? And I have no information on the status Oops. of specific individuals. Where's Saren? What? Right here. Former a warrant has been issued for his arrest. Those citadels. Right there. Unable to receive <laughs> this time. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedure. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna call the video here. Um, I will. I didn't post a video yesterday, so I think uh, I think I'm going to uh, post a second one today, um, and we might even finish this uh, series today, which will put even more pressure on me to finish the Mass Effect 2 mods. So I uh, will finish the video here, and uh, I will yeah I will post another one today. So we'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.